All right, this next match for you comes to us from Orb, Black Orb, who has 1.6K hours in the game of Dead by Daylight, a little past the the, the 1K hours I expect people to know their micro uh, macro fundamentals. Uh, you are playing Oni, which is a very, very good, strong A tier character. Um, very, very good at slugging. But if you deny him a lot of his pressure early game, he may not be able to catch up with a snowball. Uh, you're on Mount Ormond. It looks like uh, variation three based by looking at Shaq in the cubby in the top right. Uh, Ormond three is the most fair of the three Ormond sizes. So that is going in your favor. But we'll have to look at your add ons and your poikes. Okay, your build is you have um, Splintered Hull and the Ink Lion. Um, typically, when you want to play Oni, you want to run one or two of the uh, three types of add-ons, kind of similar to Xenomorph. Um, uh, extra blood, extra speed, or uh, extra duration. Any combination of these uh, kind of works. There's more, there's efficiency among those, right? Like things you should run over each other, but realistically, you're, you're, you're good to go if you run any of those add-on trees uh, and Splinter all obviously being one of them. Um, your build, um, your build is, eh, it's okay. Um, Pain Raz, best load on the game. Corrupt, obviously you're a time sink killer so that helps you get your, your time back that you miss out by having to collect blood for and set up your blood economy. Uh, sloppy and Barbecue are not bad picks, but kind of slightly underwhelming picks. Um, yeah, they're not bad. They're just kind of like, yeah, they're solid. So if you're not feeling like your build's packing enough punch, these aren't bad picks, but they are kind of just like very okay picks, you know, that could be picked better. Um, because they're bad. They're just better options. Oh. Especially Sloppy. Sloppy got really unfairly bopped in the, uh, when it got nerfed. Like, I think it's, I think that Behavior's War on anti heal was a little... A little much. Like, again, not wanting people... Like, if you don't want people to run nothing but slow down, you really should give them more options. Yeah. I like the choice not to chase the, uh... person at Shack there. Taking chases at the beginning of the game at, like, main building or Shack is, like... Huge mistake I see a lot of the match reviews. But that's where people end up with really long chases that they don't leave. Yeah, they are gonna stop playing that game. All right, rest well, whore. Appreciate you. Thank you for hanging. What is that word, that dunk? playing victim that game on victim what i liked about victim and uh in uh texas chainsaw was that at least you could play it solo just like you can't really do that in dbd like survivor is a team a team situation um at least with texas chainsaw you can do uh like survivor solo which is neat oh so they probably thought she said the other word i can see that now yeah I know somebody on Switch got banned once because they said bigger, like it's bigger than something. Like this is small and this is bigger than that, but they thought they said something else. And that was a big uh, controversy. I always thought that was funny because people get mad about that too. They would be like, ah, oh, you laughed and you didn't get us. I'm like, yeah, that's... Family's the team role in this game. <laughs> Victim. Victim's the solo role. Bye -bye. That's kind of why I stopped playing the game. Like, the biggest reason that I stopped playing the game is, like, if I didn't have a good tracker on my team, I played mostly Bubba in that game, so if I didn't have a good tracker, I was just kind of, like... I was just stuck. I just couldn't do anything. Because, like, I can't track on my own. I have no ability to do that. <laughs> so I'm just, like... John Travolta, I mean, where are the victims? <laughs> Is Connie still busted? I remember Connie was ridiculous because she could just eat through lock, uh, locks so easily. I don't like that you didn't really slug there at all. Like you just kind of like got the one down and called it a day. You definitely need more snowball pressure here. You just went for the one down instead.
They nerfed her cooldown? Okay. So do you think it's fair now, or do you think it's still busted? That's a little bit off the gym, that's good. He doesn't sprint burst, but a fresh hit will get you your power here, so that's good. So once you get the hit, you're fine. Doesn't change anything. I think you... Yeah, you have people that are injured. You should be going and getting your blood here. You shouldn't be just like... Like, if you could have got the fresh hit on him there, that would have been great. But now you're just chasing a fresh survivor who isn't giving you blood. Like, you're spending most of this game outside your power. Which is fine at the beginning, because, you know, you kind of can't help it. But, like, this late in the game, you should not be trying to, like, chase somebody this hard. And I'm not sure why you did. Yeah, he that's just him being smart. That's not you being bad. It just forces you out of your power for free. Oh, Leon, that knows what they're doing. You don't see those very often. Oh. <laughs> One of those weird gems you can only kick from one side. Yeah, see, now you're out of your power. Yeah, because they didn't need anybody else, right? So if you were a good solo victim, you just get out. I think it's one of those things where, like, and I, uh, I would say this is respectfully to you, as I can. It's like, it, 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 I really am just kind of, like, seeing rust, you know? Like, it's not like, it's not like you're playing so awful that it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this, you're making so many obvious mistakes, but it's just, it, I can feel the rust, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can feel where you probably would have been making smart decisions if you were still, like, in the game and playing it frequently, you know? Somebody was right there, you could have hit him. Yeah, I don't think you saw him there. Is there a game? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, almost. Yeah, Mondays we do match reviews to help people become more consistent with the game of Dead by Daylight. Yeah, collect your blood. I think at this point you've made too many mistakes. I think unless it's like their game to throw, essentially. Game to review at some point? Yeah. Um. Let me get the command here. Um, uh, make sure you read the rules before you submit. That way, you know. Match reviews are... I don't know why this match went wrong. I don't know what I could do better. So, I would prefer matches get down to one gen or less. Or if you're a survivor, that it's at least uh, two out maximum for your amount of people to get out. Somebody was to your left. Okay, good. You prevented this gen from popping. Slug. Go for her. Make sure nobody slides in and gets that. Ooh, almost. You almost had it. That's hard on controller too, like doing flicks like that, so I am blame you. Oh, that. I think you're just flustered at this point. Yeah, that was a good call out on that. Nice. Does she have a beamer? I can't see in the pixelation. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like she has an item at all. She should be free to pick here. Yeah. I would just hook right there and then go pick up Nick and see what she does while wow, this is happening. Like if she just goes straight for the gen or what? Okay, the gen's still regressing. She does just dive in here. Push her off and then like... Oh, you have blood to your left. You have a lot of blood to your left. You didn't even see it. You have a lot of blood to your left. You can literally get your power. No. Instead, you're going to chase a fully fresh survivor deep into the map away from the 90 plus percent gem. I would go back. Pop your power and leave her. Go back. Okay, you do get the down because she's a little silly goober. Go back. That's why I ask for the end game result screens, Chaos, when people do these match reviews, because, like, sometimes if you just get out perked. I haven't had a match review yet where that's been a thing. There have been match reviews where I've had, like, minor takeaways, like, not a lot or not as impactful takeaways because, like, not really their fault. But 
I have yet to find a match where there's no takeaways. Where like it's just truly you just got completely uh outperked in that item, do you know? Or whatever it happens to be. I think it's gonna probably happen one of these days on like a survivor match where you just get like hard tunneled out or something. It's probably gonna be like the first time that happens. That's my forecast, but like I don't know. Yeah, like I said, it's just kind of like really hard to come back from this. Good, good, good job. Especially on console, that was a hard one to get. Just a. She worked on that injured though, so you have enough to get another power use. Nice. Like, if you've been doing what you were doing now, like earlier in the match, you would have been fine. I think the main thing that hurts you is trying to have like a fresh chase with Leon instead of chasing your survivors and getting your power back. Oh, this has regressed so much. That is so good for you. Yeah, now it's only at like 70, 80. Yeah, you really need to hit that. That's unfortunate. But I can imagine you're flustered right now, so it's understandable. You got this. I snug to that hook. Oh, I feel about the Z-Morph. Yeah. <gasps> the Addy, that's so tragic. You're based on your power left. Yeah, there you go. Okay. At this point, you just, you just camp. Pick up your blood, camp. Or try to chase them out. You're not gonna be able to stop this. You're not gonna be able to stop this. You're very ambitious as a player. Or at least in this game. And if you had played more safe, like, you would be in a much better situation. Like, you go for very, very ambitious plays. Like, you had a kill confirmed there, and you just decided to chase this person across the map for some reason. You don't play very safe, and your risks don't end up paying off a lot. Yeah, they're just gonna hang out at the edge and get out. You can go to the other one, but they're probably fine on that front, too. Yeah, they're fine. Alright. Alright, so in terms of your main takeaways, um, I think my main takeaways for your first one would uh, be that the main reason that you lost this game, like if there's one thing I, I saw was like, okay, well that was the game changer, was that you decided after, so like you had a, a really rough start to this game. Like you didn't get like your first use of your power to like, like, the like the last few gens there which was not ideal um but that is the, like the life of oni is sometimes you don't get your power to really late in the game but after that point after your first power use you decided to have a full healthy chase with leon for whatever reason you had survivors that were giving you blood that you could have uh followed and gotten your power back quickly without your power oni is just 115 man with katana he is not that great uh, but in his power, he could be one of the most devastating characters in the game if used in the right hands. Um, but for some reason, you chose after your first power use to go chase a fully healthy Leon as if it was the beginning of the game when you were at two gens. And because he was a, you know, moderately good looper, he looped you for quite a while and kept you out of your power for even longer. There was no reason you should have been out of your power at that point in the match. That was a willing choice by you to go chase the healthy survivor um, when you could have just been chasing or going to the injured survivors to get their blood that is the aim again with oni is staying in your your blood fury as much as possible so that was like the uh, the game making decision there is that you decided to chase them there because honestly if you had the kind of pressure you had near the end of the game there at like two or three gens instead of like one you probably would have at least got like a two or three k if not more because oni is a very explosive snowball -y killer but because you didn't have the power to do that, it kind of didn't end up working that, that way. Um, I think there were several moments in this match, which is a very common Oni match review takeaway, that you weren't picking up your blood. Especially when you were chasing that Jill at that uh, that tile near the snowplow, where there was a giant, giant pile of blood there. Like a giant conglomeration of blood, and you just like walked right by it. Um, 
and did not get your power out of that. That was, that would have been very game changing for you and you didn't grab it. Um, just not ideal. Um, it's very Oni specific stuff. And like I said, I can see where most of this like came down to rust. There wasn't necessarily like you playing bad as much as you just haven't played the game in a while and got a pretty all right team. Like this Leon was a good looper. Like he knew what he was doing, which is like, no, no reason to feel mad or upset about that. Like he just played well. Um, so I, I wouldn't necessarily be upset with yourself over that for uh, chasing somebody who, you know, knew what they were doing. Also at the end game there uh, with the, your final takeaways, there were no reason not to just like uh, camp Nick, camp Nick Cage. Um, you are an insta down killer. And if you just sat there, collected your blood a bit, got your power back, dude, that's at least a confirmed kill. And if somebody gets a little bit too altruistic, you go Bruh, and then bonk them, right? And they get a, a 2K, right? <laughs> so the fact that you kind of went that to go for a very, very risky play to uh, chase down Jill into the map was, yeah, like I said, very risky and the risk did not pay off. Um, you also did that earlier at one gen where you had most of the team down near that snowplow and you also chased Jill deep in the map while she was healthy, which was not ideal either. You just go, I would just try to minimize your risky plays. You go for a very, a lot of ambitious plays that don't end up panning out. So try, if you're like, okay, well, I can chase this healthy survivor to the opposite side of the map and totally get him down. Second guess that, <laughs> second guess that. Not because I don't think you can do it, but until the rush shakes off, it may not be possible with your current, like state of play with your, you know, being rusty coming back to the game. So yeah.